went through the surface of the pond as blue. Sulcus basilaris. Who remember the same artery? <coughs> artery basilaris forms with the help of fluid. And then artery basilaris divides into two. Cerebral posterior, very good. And cerebral posterior joint with internal carotid artery with the help of communicum. That is really cycle, yes? And this artery, arterial basilaris, is here. It's passed on the ventral surface of the pons, arterial basilaris. That is why the name of this group, sulcus basilaris. Posterior number two, the same like in medulla blangata, sulcus medianus posterior. Sulcus medianus posterior. And number three, this part, and here. That is middle peduncles of cerebellum. Pedunculi cerebellaris inferior. Oh, medii, sorry, medii. Pedunculi cerebellaris medii. Middle peduncles of cerebellum. Pedunculi cerebellaris medii. Central structure of the pons, that is trapezoid body, corpus trapezoidum, number four. Corpus trapezoidum, trapezoid body, corpus trapezoidum. This structure divides pons into ventral part, everything below, and dorsal part, everything what above. And laterally from trapezoid body here and here. Number five. Nucleus dorsalis corporis trapezoidi. Nucleus dorsalis corporis trapezoidi. Now, ventral part. Main part occupy pyramidal tracts, pyramidal tracts, number six, pyramidal tracts. What are their names? Cortica spinalis, anterior cortica spinalis, lateralis, and cortica nuclearis, cortica nuclearis, cortica nuclearis. Cortica spinalis anterior, cortica spinalis lateralis, and cortica nuclearis. All of them here in ventral part of the pons. Cortica spinalis anterior, lateral, and cortica nuclearis. These pyramidal tracts, they are white or gray matter. This is white matter. And gray matter near these tracts, gray matter. Small nuclei, a lot of small nuclei of the pons, and name of them nuclei pontis. Nuclei pontis. Nuclei of the pons. Nuclei pontis. Nuclei pontis. And from this nuclei start tract, and this tract go to opposite side. And pass to cerebellum through peduncles. A name of this tract, number nuclei 37, and here it is H. Tractus ponta cerebellaris. Ponta cerebellaris. Tractus ponta cerebellaris. Tractus ponta cerebellaris. Go to cerebellum. Now, in dorsal part. Yeah. Nine. Ten. And here. 
Вот из найн. Найн. Вот из лемнискус мизиалис. Лемнискус лемнискус. Лемнискус мизиалис. Лемнискус мизиалис. Лемнискус мизиалис consists of tractus spinotalamicus lateralis, tractus spinotalamicus anterior, and tractus bulbotalamicus. One again. Lemniscus medialis, that is number nine, consists of spinotalamicus lateralis, spinotalamicus anterior, and bulbotalamicus. Антрактус бульбутолемикус. Above of лимнискус медиалис хипис. That is what? Ретикулярная формация. Формация ретикулярис. Формация хе и хе. Формация ретикулярис. Number 10. Формация ретикулярис. Ретикулярная формация. Number 11. That is fasciculus longitudinalis medialis. Fasciculus here and here. Fasciculus longitudinalis medialis. Fasciculus longitudinalis medialis. The same like here. Fasciculus longitudinalis medialis. Next. That is nuclei of next cranial nerves. Here it is was from 9 till 12. Here from 5 till 8. 5, 6, 7 and 8. Cranial nerves. And last. It is laterally number 12. Tractus rubrospinalis. Tractus rubrospinalis. Rubrospinalis. Tractus rubrospinalis. Come here. He is absent what? Absent cerebellum. We cut cerebellum from medulla oblongata and pons uh, because we want to see rhomboid fossa, that is dorsal surface of pons and dorsal surface of medulla oblongata has shape like rhomb, rhomboid fossa. That is why whole name of hin brain rhomboencephalon. Clear? Now, medulla oblongata, here it is, and pons here. On ventral surface, there is uh, very clear to see border between medulla oblongata and pons. Here it is, yes? That is very clear. On dorsal surface, there is no clear border between pons and medulla oblongata. We join together lateral angles of rhomboid fossa and upper part that is pons, lower part that is medulla oblongata. And now that is correct position of this part of brain. It is dorsal surface, it is ventral. On ventral surface of medulla oblongata we have fissure, fissura. Mediana anterior, fissure mediana anterior, laterally from it, what? Pyramids, pyramids. Then, laterally from pyramids, here, and here, a liver, and between a liver and pyramids, sulcus antera lateralis, and behind of a liver, sulcus posterolateralis. 
then Hades, inferior peduncles of cerebellum, go to cerebellum, go upward, inferior peduncles of cerebellum, Hades, sulcus medianus posterior, and laterally here and here, tubicles, tuberculum gracilis and cuneatus, and Hades, tuberculum gracilis and cuneatus. And that is external surface of medulla oblongata. Now, pons. What is the name of this group? Sulcus basilaris. The same artery pass in this group. Sulcus basilaris. Here and here, laterally, that is middle peduncles of cerebellum. They are also cut from cerebellum. And posteriorly, sulcus medianus posterior. Sulcus medianus posterior. That is all what we can see in pons and medulla oblongata. Next time, departments of brain, medulla oblongata and pons. External and internal structure, two diagrams. Clear? Okay. That is all.